Welcome to the All Plan Quick Start Lesson Layout Creation, where I will show you how to create a layout drawing of a plan, section, and views in All Plan. What should you expect from this lesson? We will create a layout from the previously drawn data, which you can print and, and or output as a PDF file. Click on Layout Editor to access the layout module. Here you can unleash your imagination with several features for creating layouts. I'll show you the basic steps you need to know to create and output a simple layout. The same button that opens the building structure in construction mode will open the layout structure in the layout editor. We create a new structural level, either with the right mouse button or with the corresponding icon. Name it Quick Start. Now you can add empty layout numbers in this folder, 15 to 20. Once you name a layout and add content, the layout number will remain constant. For example, you will always be able to find this layout via number 15. The creation of structural levels and further subnesting is just as easy here as in the building structure. It helps you to stay organized and properly manage your layouts. The inserted structural levels and layouts can be quickly removed from the layout structure by drag and drop without losing any content. A tip, right click on all layouts or the layout name for a context menu with additional options. Double click on layout 15 to open it. The next step after selecting and naming a layout is setting up the page via the setup page command. Once you've started this command, work through the intuitive dialog box from top to bottom. Start by specifying the desired page format, DIN A0 and the margins. Changes will update automatically in the layout as you input values here in the dialog box. Next, I select a layout border and a title block. As you can see, AllPlan automatically enters some known information in this label, such as the project name, layout name, layout number, and the current date. Other attributes can be manually assigned. To do this, Open New Project, Open Project. Right-click here to add a few attribute columns to the project list, such as Owner and Project Number. Enter something in each cell. Everything entered here now appears in the title block. These details are called Project Attributes. We can also add layout-specific details. To do this, I click on Layout and Project Attributes. On the left, check the box next to Layout 15 to select it. On the right, enter information about this layout. Under Scale, enter 1 to 100. Under Layout Description, enter Own Category. And under Layout Type, enter Design Drawing. If one of these attribute columns is missing, I can add it with a right click. Then Apply. Note, I can also access the project attributes here, which I have just selected and entered in the project list. Click OK to close. The title block is now filled out. In the third step, I will now put content on the layout. Click on Layout Element, select the building structure, and here select the basement, Drawing File 112. I briefly check whether everything fits as I would like. Set the drawing type to Design Drawing. Confirm and place the plan element by clicking in the layout. Once placed, I can quickly and easily make changes if needed. I can do this by either double left-clicking on the layout element or with the command List Layout Elements if more control is needed when layout elements lie on top of each other.
Now that I see DIN A0 is probably too big, I can change it to DIN A1 with the setup page command. Layout border and title block adapt automatically to this change and I can quickly move the layout element. Next, I set the ground floor down and align them. Laying out the derived objects are just as fast as the plans. The only difference is this time I must select the drawing files from the right side of the building structure. I select the recently created derived objects on drawing files 1015 and 1115. As I previously mentioned, the view doesn't fit the plan with the representation of the complete 3D terrain, so I can simply crop it to fit. Use the function Layout window of layout elements already placed. Click the view, switch off the area detection and draw a rectangle by clicking the two diagonal points and pressing Escape. Slightly adjust the view and the cut and we're almost done. What's still missing is the labeling of the layout elements. I could now simply create them with the text function or use previously saved elements from the library. In the palette, select the palette library. Open the folder I created in the project path plan layout and double click on the symbol text and fill area. you can see a preview of the symbol on the cursor. This is made up of a filled area which could represent the terrain and white and black text. I start the text function by double right clicking on the white text. Click in the viewport for a starting point and write view. Click OK to finish. Now I copy the text mark it and change it in the properties palette. Next, I repeat these steps with the black text and mark the floor plans. I delete the symbol again at the end. I'd like to show the sky in the layout. To modify the layout window, select the option Add Layout Elements. Click the view and search for drawing file 1016 where I have already created a fill area. Place the drawing and finish with Escape. By double left clicking on the layout window, I can change the order in the layout with drag and drop. Confirm the change with OK. Since the section is not located in a layout window, I can supplement the section with layout element. Search for drawing file 1116 to place it in the layout. I change the order of the drawing files with the list layout elements in the same way as for the view. In order to print to PDF, I have to go to the print view. This gives me a preview of how everything in the layout will be printed. Select export PDF data and select layout 15. Give the PDF a name and define where it will be saved and with which settings. The default location is the folder of the AllPlan project. This default location can be changed in the options. If this checkmark is set here, the PDF will then be displayed in your default PDF reader after clicking OK. If you want to print the plan on your printer instead, use the function Print Layouts, which also contains an intuitive and easy-to-follow properties palette.